Hi, and welcome to SEC 212, where we'll cover how you can take control of security with the Security Command Center. I'm Andy Chang, a product manager in Google's cloud security team, and I'm here with my co-presenter, Kyle Olive. Hi, I'm Kyle Olive, a product manager on the Google Cloud Security Command Center team. Kyle will be covering some of the built-in vulnerability and threat detectors in detail later in this talk. In addition, we'll be showing you an example of how Veolia, a multinational based in France operating utilities, water and waste management, and energy services, has integrated the Security Command Center into their security workflow. Staying in control of your security is hard. As cloud adoption grows and your teams get even more agile, the accelerated velocity of cloud development means that you have increasing numbers of dynamic resources and services being deployed, expanding your attack surface, and potentially expanding both the risks that you have to address and the scale and complexity of your estate. Traditional tools needed also seem to endlessly multiply and make it hard for you to drive consistency and get one unified view of your security posture. As enterprises move from on-premise to public cloud environments, three common concerns are top of mind. How do I get full visibility and how do I get an accurate assessment of my attack surface, my security posture, and my compliance state? Can I continue to detect and respond to the threats that are most relevant and important to me? How do I learn to use and deal with the additional complexity of new architectures, policy systems, technologies, and the services available in public clouds? And across all three of these, how do I keep on top of all of these things as the scope of services and the size of deployments from my teams continually grow and increases? Finally, will I need to know how to manage an ever-growing set of security tools with disparate interfaces and capabilities in order to keep ahead of these challenges? Or can I use something native and built in? Security Command Center provides you a single place to control the security of your estate on Google Cloud. Security Command Center offers a unified set of capabilities that enables you consistent and continuous organization-wide visibility, detection, and enables you to respond all from one place, leveraging the best of Google Cloud security expertise with all the services managed by Google and at Google scale. Security Command Center Premium addresses your challenges by providing you with a single place for organizational level control over the built-in threat prevention and threat detection capabilities offered by Google Cloud. From one unified place, you can manage and review findings related to your security posture, your active threats, the underlying assets being impacted, and their metadata, and the different types and classifications of data potentially at risk, all through a Google managed system that automatically scales and deploys with the growth of your organization. Security Command Center offers a single consistent place for you to enable which security services should be enabled where. By default, all resources supported by Security Command Center are automatically monitored and covered by threat prevention and detection capabilities. So as your developers spin up new projects and your organization grows, these policies get applied automatically, reducing the danger of an inadvertent blind spot in your understanding of your attack service. With Security Command Center Premium, you can continuously monitor your security posture, monitor your asset configurations against common misconfigurations and against compliance controls like CIS and PCI. You can automatically detect vulnerabilities in your public web applications from the OS top 10. And in addition, you can detect and protect against active threats through real-time log and cluster analysis to find bad actors and stop them in real time. I'll now turn, now turn it over to Kyle um, to provide you details on each of these built-in capabilities. Keeping your deployment secure is an ongoing challenge, but as Andy mentioned, Security Command Center includes several capabilities that help you increase your scope of coverage, understand your security posture, and enable you to become more secure over time. We'll spend a little bit of time going over each of these capabilities before diving in to a real life demonstration of how you can use Security Command Center in your organization. First, let's talk about the capabilities designed to help you understand and improve your security posture. Security Health Analytics monitors and analyzes your infrastructure configurations for known insecure configurations and configurations that are not complying with compliance controls. Security Health Analytics offers a broad scope of coverage out of box and with minimal configuration. 
You simply turn it on for your org and get coverage for any existing or any new projects that get spun up. Our goal with Security Health Analytics is to cover the broadest scope of Google Cloud services, leveraging Google security know-how to provide detections and recommendations that will make customers more secure across storage, compute, and several other Google Cloud services. Every detection includes the metadata you need to triage that finding and act on it, including context-specific remediation instructions. Additionally, we've recently improved security health analytics to have an even tighter integration with your resource configurations, detecting changes in configurations in real time and allowing you to react and respond to critical events before a breach can occur. Security health analytics can detect some of the most impactful misconfigurations, like public buckets or open firewalls, while also providing more nuanced security recommendations around networking, logging, and monitoring. These recommendations come from our security teams, and many of them are the same guidelines that Google itself puts into place. The selection of the detections found here are only a small subset of the total number of detections that are available, and that scope of coverage will continue to increase over time. One of the most exciting things we've added this year is the ability for security health analytics to perform continuous compliance monitoring, identifying resources that are known to be misconfigured against compliance controls from the CIS GCP benchmark, PCI DSS, ISO 27001, NIST 853, and more. These findings are surfaced through dashboards that can be filtered and scoped by projects or folders, giving you control over how you assess your environment. These reports can be a starting point for remediative actions or exported out as a CSV that can be used to track your compliance state over time. But your security posture is made up of more than just your resource configurations. It's also important to monitor against vulnerabilities in your web applications. Security Command Center includes Web Security Scanner for that purpose. Web Security Scanner automatically detects and scans your exposed public web applications for the most common and impactful vulnerabilities found in web apps. Like security health analytics, there's minimal configuration overhead required here. You just turn on the service and Security Command Center will automatically detect and configure web application scans for apps running on GAE, GKE, or GCE. These scans will crawl your public web applications in order to detect some of the most severe vulnerabilities found in web applications, including vulnerabilities from categories of the OWASP top 10, like cross-site scripting and security misconfigurations. These again are the same tools that Google uses to protect and scan our own web applications, and we're making these detections available to security command center customers. All of the findings we just talked about can be centrally managed from the vulnerabilities dashboard or via a single security command center API. Each finding is associated with the severity and other additional metadata, allowing you to assess the potential impact of a finding and triage it for action. Finally, as mentioned, each finding includes context-specific remediation instructions that you can quickly act on yourself, automate against, or copy into a ticket that you can assign to a project owner. But sometimes, despite all our best efforts, malicious actors manage to compromise some part of a deployment. Security Command Center also provides you the tools you need to detect these intrusions and respond to them in real time. First up, we have event threat detection. At Google, we have dedicated threat intelligence groups analyzing activities on the internet for the latest threat signals, not only to protect ourselves, but also our customers. Event threat detection leverages those threat signals to provide an enhanced level of detection, allowing you to catch more incidents. These detections happen in real time as soon as the log gets generated, allowing you to respond to incidents in seconds. As your logs are generated, event threat detection monitors them, analyzing entries from your audit logs, your syslogs, and your network logs. From there, we apply our detection logic and use Google's threat intelligence to identify malicious actors performing one of several types of activities. Event threat detection can detect activities related to malware or coin mining running on your systems. It can detect active data exfiltration or IAM abuse, and we'll be able to leverage user behavior analytics to detect compromises on accounts and alert you to that activity. And the scope of these detections will only increase over time. Google's expertise can also be leveraged in other ways, like with our container threat detection capabilities now in Security Command Center. Container threat detection is an exciting new capability available in Security Command Center. At its core, it's a Linux security module baked into COS and GKE that can detect incidents occurring on your GKE workloads in real time. Once again, Security Command Center handles the management of these deployments, automatically enabling container threat detection on clusters and projects per your settings 
as soon as those clusters get spun up, removing the overhead that regularly comes with this kind of protection. Once enabled, container threat detection monitors real-time changes on your workloads to detect incidents like the execution of added binaries, new linked libraries, or when a cluster suddenly opens a reverse shell to the internet, all signs of a compromise. In just seconds, you can alert on an incident and even take automated action against it. For an example of that, we'll now switch over to a demo from Guillaume Bocquer at Veolia. Guillaume will walk us through how Veolia leverages Security Command Center to respond to vulnerabilities automatically in real time in a way that can be extended to any of the detections we just talked about. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, I'm Guillaume Blaquier. I'm a Google Developer Expert on Cloud Platform. I'm also a Scrum Master and Lead Architect at Veolia. Veolia is a major French company, an environmental company focused on water, waste and energy, present in 50 countries in the world and with more than 170,000 employees. Veolia work, work with more than um, seven years with Google Cloud and today we have more than 4,000 projects on GCP with internal and external people and partners that work on the platform for building and running solutions in production. Today, managing the security is a, is a challenge for us because we are a small team in Paris and we have a lot of people, a lot of countries, several time zones, uh, several say, different affinity with the security and we have a lot of work to, to do. For example, when we have to review the, uh, op the firewall rules and to see what is open too widely, we perform batches every three, three, three months and we review all, this, all the firewall rules. We contact um, the, the project owner to review with them if it's normal or not to have this rule and so on and to fix it or to uh, whitelist this, uh, these rules. It's a lot of work every three months. It's not very interesting. It's time consuming and we perform this only every three months and in three months it can happen a lot of things. Now with um, Security Command Center, every event in the cloud are scanned by the Security Command Center and when the findings is, is fine, it is published on PubSub and the message is consumed by uh, CloudRun. In CloudRun we have implemented two actions on a message. The first one is to publish a message in Slack. The second one is to use the Google API for uh, an immediate action on the finding, for example, to revoke some authorization on a bucket. We have in our roadmap to implement other things, for example, to send an email on the findings, to open a ticket in our ticketing tool ServiceNow uh, at Veolia, and we um, can also um, store only the relevant finding for Veolia and then to build a dashboard on these findings and at the end, we can provide a global view on the security to the security team, to the manager, to the auditors, and so on. So now I would like to present you a demo of what we have done today with uh, the Security Command Center. And here, I'm the firewall rules, just go on the findings here. Um, we are in the uh, landing page for the findings and we can filter by security, but my preferred view is here, the uh, finding change. Why? Because you can see what it's new, what, the, what are the new findings in your uh, environment, in your, uh, in your context, uh, the last hour, the last day, the last week and so on, and it's very efficient for working with, uh, with this. So now imagine um, I have a user that would like to share some documents with uh, customers and partners. There's a lot of people involved and the user want, don't want to grant all the users one by one in the, um, uh, in the, in the console. For this user want to uh, make the bucket public and to share it widely. At the area, we don't want this because we consider that the data stored in our bucket are various data and at least are confidential data and we don't want to share it with uh, anybody. That's why we can apply, for example, an organization, an organization policy named Domain Restriction Sharing that prevents you to grant all users and all authenticated users to the buckets. 
But the side effect of this organization policy is you can't grant all users and all authenticated users to cloud run, cloud function, and app engine. And that's why with this uh, organization policy, we can't make public our API and our website, or we can whitelist the project for making public our API and our website with cloud run, cloud function, and app engine. But we also whitelist our bucket and can't grant all users and all authenticated users to the bucket. And we don't want this. Now with uh, Security Command Center and the final real-time findings, we can do this. For example, here I have a, um, a bucket and I would like to share publicly this, 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 this bucket. I will add all users here and I will uh, share all the objects uh, of my uh, uh, bucket. When I save, I have a warning message and I'll say, now your bucket is public and yes, you say, okay, I'm aware of this. And um, a finding is found by Security Command Center, a message is published uh, to the pub -sub topic and our uh, uh, cloud run instance publish a message on Slack. Hey, we have a finding here and we have removed automatically the, um, uh, the authorization of the bucket. We can go back to the bucket. We can see here it's publicly accessible, but in fact not. If I refresh the page, the uh, bucket, the authorization has been removed automatically by calling the Google API. So now we don't have a problem. Only two or three, 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 three seconds be, be, be between the, the public access and the revocation by uh, the cloud on instance. Same thing, for, for example, with the firewall rules. I would like to use the VOER resources and my professional accounts to build, uh, for example, a Minecraft server for playing with my friends and my family. And I've created a compute instance, deployed my Minecraft instance, and now I have to create a firewall rules. So I have to create a firewall rules. Here I can name it. Uh, if I'm stupid, I name it my Minecraft, but uh, I'm stupid. And I can um, allow all the uh, instances in the network. I open it very widely because it's my friends, my family, and a lot of people. And I would like to open it on the port 10,000 because it's, uh, my server will run on it. Now I will click on Create. And as before, in few seconds, I can see here in the Slack ch channel, oh, you have an open firewall uh, findings and I don't know what to, what to do. I don't know if it's uh, normal or not non normal and I, I can ask the security team to have a review on these findings. Why? Because when you have a bucket open publicly on the internet, you can immediately download the content and uh, the data leak is instant. When you open a strange, fi uh, a strange port on firewall rules, you are, it's maybe maybe some intruder can use it and uh, enter into the system, but it's not instant. It can take uh, uh, days, weeks, or months for this, and you can take more time to review the rules. And now I can see what's happened. I click on the link, and I can see, oh, I have a rule named Minecraft, open on internet, on this port. No, it's not normal. I have to delete it. And now, it's, uh, I can react immediately on a file rules open and uh, I don't have to perform batches every three months as before. Now the platform is more secure. It's quicker to react on the events. Uh, with the premium version, we have uh, more and more uh, findings and we can uh, fine tune what we'd like to allow and to disallow on our platform. And it helps us a lot in our day-to-day -day job, it's less boring as before. So this evolution and this real-time notification is very, very great for us at Veolia. Thank you. As Guillaume showed in the demo, Veolia has been able to integrate Security Command Center Premium into its security workflow and remove the toil of batch assessments for vulnerability to moving to a continuous vulnerability assessment with proactive alerting. Security Command Center Premium addresses the challenges of giving you the continuous visibility of your security posture across your ever-changing asset estate that you need. It provides you near real-time detection of vulnerabilities and of threats that can impact your system, 
and it reduces the complexity and toil for you to protect your estate and maintain a strong security posture on Google Cloud. Security Command Center Premium is provided through an annual all-you-can-use subscription, which empowers you to have your security scale with your growth, regardless of how large your organization grows. To learn more about Security Command Center Premium, please go to cloud.google.com backslash security dash command dash center. Now let's bring Kyle back. We'd like to thank you so much for the opportunity you gave us to present to you how you can take control of your security with the Cloud Security Command Center. Thanks for watching.